Ladies and gents, welcome to Kibizi.com. You know, one of our most frequent guests on the show. Uh, you know, I think I think your brand. You know, if you look at your brand and our brand colors, you know, even the design is not too far off, man. Yeah, not too far off. Blue, blue, yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue and yeah. blue and white. Kibizi.com. You know, yeah. and today we are here for the media launch of the official Youth on Brand Awards. Third and annual. Third annual. Yeah. That annual top 16 youth owned brands awards we just launched here at a beautiful uh, courtyard in Waterfall City. Yeah, we all the way out in mid range. You know, Pat called us and we we're like, yo, we're coming through to mid range to do this interview. But yo, man, not everybody knows you. Yeah. Uh, introduce yourself, man, and tell us why we are here. Yeah, I am Pat Masang, marketing and media entrepreneur. I run businesses in the media and marketing space. We've got an agency called Lerato Agency. We also have a platform called Pattern Brands, mm. under which you know we host. We have got a multiple properties. I'm a podcaster. We've got Pattern Brands podcast. Um, yeah, man, all round marketer, brand builder, brand man, whichever way you know you, you see it. But uh, everything that has a logo on is of interest to me. Oh uh, yeah, I love that, man. That's such an interesting approach uh, to to things. You know, to business. You know, I'm a big fan of niche type of content or people that do things you know in a unique way and yeah. you definitely do that and this is like one of those uh platforms uh that you do third year yo man what can we expect this year third year this is this is gonna be the biggest uh yobas we've ever seen mm. i mean we're expanding our reach as you saw in our announcement we're gonna mm. be tapping into africa or we're gonna bring the rest of the continent you know here in, in south africa and potentially, you know, build on that and obviously, you know, uh, do it at a much, much um, continental uh, level. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, that means with that said, you know, we also got some new and exciting um, categories, mm. you know, um, also entering into the, the manufacturing space. So we want to recognize youth owned businesses or brands in the manufacturing space. Mm. We also, you know, uh, which is something that didn't really come out strong um, during my speech, but which I think is important now that you know we're having this conversation to highlight is that we're also gonna uh, be awarding you know a young South African brand or a young South African that demonstrated global excellence and stature oh, that dope. doesn't fit into our set, you know, mm. um, categories and whatnot. So, what you're building here is an international platform. Mm. That's something that uh, we're really excited about. Um, again, the Africa one, you know. Mm. Um, so I want to say Africa, and I know I have to say this with caution because we are also in Africa. Yes. But we are inviting participation from um, the rest of the, of, of the African continent, uh, East, West, and, and, and the Sarek regions, you know, to say, guys, let's also recognize um, other young people in mm. those parts of, of, of the continent mm. and let's celebrate excellence in its um, true form. Mm. Okay, two questions for you. Okay, let's start with the first one. When you say like a young person that has made a global impact, does that have to be an entrepreneur, a business person? It can just be like a personality. What does that mean? Can you please clarify that? It can be in any field as long yeah. as they did excellently. You know, there's one thing that we tend to forget as, as a country. Mm. You know, the Springboks, when mm. they went and lifted the trophy, yeah, you know who lifted that trophy? Who? Rasia. How old is Rasia? Yeah, he's a young man. I don't he's know. He's a young man. Yeah. 23 is youth. Yeah. So if you think about it, the youth, we don't look at it in that perspective, but the youth of South Africa is really carrying the mood of the country, mm. which is something that I re- uh, this platform exists. Because oftentimes when we talk about the youth, we talk about the negative stuff, the high employment, the crime, the drug abuse, that, that. but you don't say, flip, mm. Sia is 33 years old, yet he's demonstrating such strong leadership and an end. But also we can also say, Sia is not doing it by himself. Mm. He's got the support structure. He's got coaches, he's got people that are experienced that are guiding him. So when we have young and old people also working together, mm. magic happens. We have Tyler, for example, who just won a Grammy. The youngest African to ever mm. win a Grammy. Mm. You know? Those are the people that you say, yeah, we may not fit the criteria that you set, but we need to see you and we need to celebrate you. Because mm. this platform is a showcase of youth excellence. Mm. Mm. And youth excellence comes in different shapes and forms. Okay. 
And then does um, that particular category, do people need to, does it also apply with nominations or no. can you just uh, randomly just nominate people? So that one we, is not going to be um, in, uh, nominated by the public. Obviously our judges are going to sit down and look at, uh, you know, various South Africans that have done incredibly well on yeah. global platforms and say, okay, this one is worth is it. But the key thing is that there must be youth. Mm. They must be under 35. Okay, and then looking at the broader continent, so you're opening more uh, people from other from the, from other borders, from other side of the border to uh, to apply. Is that what it means? Yes. So we're saying if you're in East Africa, in West Africa, in the Sadek region, mm. you own a brand in any of the categories uh, that we have, a brand can be nominated, or you can nominate your brand, and of course, it needs to meet our criteria. Um, when you reach out to you, obviously, remember we're just gonna get the entries first hand mm. then now we have to do the vetting to confirm okay. if this brand is really youth owned you know yeah. and then we start you know then we engage with you and yeah if you then you're gonna follow the same process as, as south african brands yeah and the judges are gonna you know do their thing and say yeah. okay cool then you get shortlisted then it's gonna go to vote and boom you find yourself here yeah Yo, lastly man you know um this platform really does well on linkedin yeah. So to people that are, you know, part of uh, uh, brands that are management in brands and all yeah. that, if they want to be a part of this, how do they jump on? Uh, you can, you know, hit me up, uh, Pat, at uh, patronbrands.com. You know, you can send an email to info at top 16 yoba at the zero zero. And really, our doors are open for partnerships. Mm. You know, actually, the success, you know, of not only this platform, of any young person, Mm. It's really dependent on the support that corporate South Africa shows. You know, we the other day, you know, I just I was just thinking to myself. Remember when Block Coffee went to fill up Medicine Square Garden? Yeah, yeah. Who made the mo- the most noise about it? Mm. It, was pri- it was the private sector. It was the brands. Mm. It was Castle Lad saying, "Look, let's do a sign of party. Mm. Let's run some competition. Let's 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 because we see you, you are great." Yeah. And that's what it takes. So we need uh, corporate South Africa to really jump on board. You know, I mean, we've got a lot of ideas. We are pregnant, really, with bigger and better ideas. If you yeah. think this is big, believe yeah. me, there's more where um, this comes from. Yeah. But we need support. We need yeah. the resources to execute. We're also putting our own money. Yeah. It's not like we're just saying, coming with an empty bow. No, yeah. we are investing our own money in this thing. And we believe that together with the collaboration of uh, mm. big corporate brands, we can definitely do it bigger and, 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 and way better. Yeah. Yo, man, any, anything that you just want to put out there lastly? Um, we also uh, remember the awards is one part. We also have the Festival of Youth and Brands, and which I think is important to, to really highlight and talk about and say, guys, on the 20th and on the 21st and the 22nd of june we have the festival of youth own brands which will precede the awards so mm. the awards will be the culmination of mm. everything else that we'll be doing that we would have been doing for mm. the next what or past four months mm. so i want people to come through to the festival buy your exhibition stand so if you if you have a brand that you want to mm. showcase if you have mm. a media house you can come through and say pat look i need a section i want to do my interviews with various entrepreneurs mm. so the festival is a platform that allows for various creative um, outlets, you know, mm. to come showcase not only creative space but also if you if you're selling stuff, come mm. through, you know. Mm. We're attracting about two thousand plus people. Mm. That's a market. Mm. That's a market right there that you can sell to. Oh. Yo, man, thanks so much for your time, man. Yeah, man. See you at the Yobas this year. Yeah. And we out. Sure. <laughs>